acceptable in thy sight, for you are truly our rock and Amen. our Amen. 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 Let us turn to the first reading on the back of the bulletin. Job. Uh, I know it says uh, 23 to 27, but I'm going to stop at verse 25. So we'll start at the beginning, and I'm going to read through verse 25 and stop there. Oh, that my words were written down. Oh, that they were inscribed in a book. Oh, that with an iron pen and with lead they were engraved on a rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and that at the last he shall stand upon the earth. Let us stand and stop right there. So from Job, the 19th chapter, 27 through 25, let us consider this morning for a theme very simply because. Yes. Because. Yes. Some of you, no doubt, looked at the sermon title and thought that it was either a typo mm. or I ran out of things to say. Don't begin sermons, titles with because, because what? Mm. Yeah. But the actually the origin of this sermon topic is related to an experience that I had as an undergrad that has somehow shaped my theological point of view. I was taking a uh, uh, final for my, my undergraduate philosophy class. The final was to take all that we had learned the entire semester and apply it on the test. We had three hours to write everything we knew and plenty of blue books. There was a group of us who had studied all night and we were prepared. The instructor walked in, wrote a single word question on the board. Why? And we thought for a moment. Then we proceeded to write, and write, mm. and write. And three hours later, fill up all those blue books. Those of us who had studied together felt that we had mastered this somewhat nebulous exam. When we received our exams and our final grade, we were shocked mm. to discover that we had not done as well as we had anticipated. Mm. We didn't do bad. We didn't get an A on the final. In fact, only one person got an A on the final. And we went to that person and said, we were in class just like you. We took notes. We participated. <coughs> and you were the only one who received the A. And we got A's on all the other assignments. What did you write in your exam that was somehow missing on ours? The student said, well, when the teacher put down the question why, I simply just wrote because. Mm, <laughs> Sometimes because is the answer. Mm. Because as a standalone response can be limiting, frustrating, and disheartening. Mm. But it is an answer. Because all by itself can rob us of joy, right. replace it with a state of confusion, and it will have you questioning things for which there is no logical answer. Mm, so much of the human existence is based on maximizing logic and minimizing illogic. The more we can understand, the more comfortable we tend to be. Right. We may not like everything that happens to us. But if we can just understand why, right. we're much better off than trying to ponder because. And when the answer is because, we, we, we will have some doubt. Because does not something, does something to our faith. It even puts that solid rock in which we stand on shaky ground. There is no we leave them because after having walked the floor all night long trying to understand why that relationship 
must now come to an end after all these years and all you have is because, because can be the formless void which allows darkness to cover the abyss of our soul. Amen. We, are, we are taught that something must come after because. Right. Yeah. When we hear because, we are expecting something to follow. Mm. Yeah. How many, either as a parent or when, or when you were a child, you heard your parents say, because I'm your father. Amen. Because I'm your mother. Amen. At least that's something. Very frustrating for the answer to simply be because. It's even more frustrating for the way it might be God who says because. Yeah, that's, right. that's certainly not how we like to think of God. God wouldn't say because. God's a straight shooter. The one thing that we can count on is that you know where God stands. But we live in a world, we live in a because world, mm. hopelessly seeking answers to everything. That, that's enough to put your attention right now. Mm. We live in a because world while we're trying to seek answers to everything. Mm. I lost my job because. Right. My marriage failed because. Right. I got sick because. Right. My best friend turned their back on me because. Right. Mother and father treated me different than my other siblings mm. because. Right. No reason. Sometimes because is the answer. And if we think that God might be complicit in that, 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 that might be too much for us to bear. We naively believe that what's usually hidden behind the because is the reason that God didn't act to prevent the situation. Mm. Why didn't God solve? Why didn't God, why did God let this happen? Must be a reason. Mm. But if we examine Job through this 19th chapter, we find that the comments found in this morning's text are based on a series of because. Mm. Because Satan went to God. Because God said that Job would resist Satan's temptation. Because Satan took a bet with God. Because Satan could do anything he wanted except kill Job. And because Job's friends were assisting Job in understanding the because is how we get to chapter 19. The honest and innocent Job is placed in a setting of a mixed suffering and surrounded by conventional religious wisdom of that day in a form of a series of speeches to help Job understand why he's in this situation. Mm. Thousand years have passed since the book of Job was written, and we seek to provide meaningless theological answers for, for the because. How quick we want to give our friends the enemy, the remedy for their product with children, mm. the inability to succeed financially, or how they can improve their mental or physical condition. But what we don't realize that our attempts to give the answer to the because arrogantly places us mm. as being able to answer something for which God has not even provided an answer. Some, or God has provided an answer for an answer that we are not comfortable with. So it's not like the God does that. Sometimes the answer is what? Because. Sometimes that's the answer. In chapter 19, Job complains about his condition. Second, he suggests that God is the author of his condition. Third, he declares his belief in redemption. Sound familiar? Mm. I want my situation to change. God knows. I know, I know what I need. Why won't God do it? Mm. But I believe in God. <laughs> <laughs> See, okay, then the last one is kind of saying, just in case God's listening, just kind of throw that in there. Right? Mm. Okay. Mm. The spirit of God at this time seems to have powerfully rocked in the mind of Job. In spite of his condition, in spite of blaming God for his condition, Job still bears witness that his Redeemer lives. Yes. Job declares his faith and the assurance of his hope. Job's belief 
and redemption is the response to the because. Mm. Through Jesus, you and I have a redeemer. One who is the response to the frustration, the uncertainty, and confusion created by because. Mm. The because of Job's situation is no match for the redeemer in Job's life. Right. Only God can redeem us from the depths of despair. Right. Only God can give us a full heart. Only God can remove yeah. the debt we have incurred from sin. It is through the blood of Jesus that saved humankind from the irreversible path of destruction which we all see destined. Yeah. I, know, I know in times such as these, it's easy to feel that we are on an irre irreversible path of destruction. Yes. We, you know, we still got two wars going on in spite of what anybody tells you. Yeah. You know, we over 5,000 young men and women have been killed or or, 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 or 30,000 have been permanently maimed. Mm. Oh, no. We don't know how many Iraqis and Afghanis that our tax dollars have killed. We have an economy that's not producing the same quality jobs as it is losing each week. An economy which corporations have no loyalty to its workforce. An economy where 7% of people believe we're headed in the wrong direction. Mm. Oh, we've got some issues, right. church.